This is how Pug paints Mog. Here are all the paints that I used. Pause the video if you want to follow along. Because watching people paint, especially base coating, is so entertaining, I decided to speed up the clips as well as, well as skip a large portion of these clips. The first step on painting the stone is giving it a base coat of medium camo brown. Just paint everything that looks stony, um, his large backstone, the stone on his fist, the stone wart, anything that is stone as well as the club, just slap on the paint. Then we move on to painting his gut slash cloth slash tared clothing with a base coat of red brick. You may notice that paint sometimes disagree with you and doesn't cover very well. When it comes to these times, like using a medium camel brown, or red brick, you just need to take your time and paint in several layers. Like a genius I am, I forgot to turn on the camera when I did the highlights on his stones, but it's an easy process. The colors I used were khaki, light brown, and bleach bone, or sand. The first shade I used for the stone was Abstract. The shade shooting it out from an airbrush, what you want to focus on is getting it in between the crevices where the stones are smashed or smushed together as well as the bottom half, around 50% of each stone. When using this technique, you don't need to be too careful of getting the wash on the skin because it's only going to help blend the stone and skin together. Having said that, just don't overdo it. I shared the stone further using the fire thin purple and what I did was focus this shading in the deep crevices in rocks as well as a bit on the rock surfaces around 50% of where you hit previous layer of shade. Right now I'm going back in with a highlight of light brown with a hint of sand. I didn't like how the stone was looking brownish and purplish like bruised skin and not just natural stone. After doing that I gave the rocks a hit of agrath a shade, a very thin hit to smooth it all together. And because I wasn't too careful, I got way too much wash or too, way too much shading onto the skin. So I'm just re-highlighting those areas with underbelly blue and white. Moving on to his club, I base coated the bark areas in Bailey of Brown. And gave the rest of his club or the trunk area a thin base coat of light brown. And the reason I did this is because if you look at trees and tree branches, their bark and what's inside, they're always different colors. Uh, the bark will be much darker while the inside will be much lighter. The 
metal bits on his mace were base coated in a one to one mixture of black and bolt gun metal. And then I highlighted it up with bolt gun metal, then Mitchell silver, and hit it all with a wash of nord oil. To highlight the bark and the tree trunk, I gave the entire thing a heavy dry brushing of bleach bone. You don't need to really worry of overdoing it because we're going to use several layers of washes to tone it down. To shade the tree, give it a nice coat of agra earth shade. This is the first of many washes. After the previous layer has completely dried, we go in with a shading of Griffon Sepia. To give the tree bark a darker color, we shade those areas with another hit of Leviathan Purple. After the previous layers have completely dried, we go back in with a light dry brush of bleach bone. Then we go back in with another wash of Agrath Earth Shade. At the end of everything, you have something like this. Thanks for watching! If you liked the video, give it a like, share it with your friends, and remember to subscribe.